While the dark is normally a danger to many animals, in these Tasmanian caves, light can be a deadly trap. What appears to be a starry sky at night is really a seductive illusion. Glowworms, predators that use light to hunt their prey. Not true worms, they're really the larval stage of a special type of fly. This is the stage in the glowworm's life cycle when it hunts for food. Once they change into adults, they'll never eat again. There's nine species of glowworm. There's one species in New Zealand and eight species in Eastern Australia, one of which is the um, Tasmanian species. There was a big split between the Australian and New Zealand glowworms. Their history goes back many, many millions of years. The Tasmanian glowworm characteristics show it's more related to the New Zealand glowworm. Glowworms are troglophiles, animals that can live their entire lives in a cave without ever returning to the outside world. They can live outside the cave, but only in dark and damp places. The larvae build their nest like hammocks from which they hang hunting lines made of mucus, created blob by gooey blob. It comes from the saliva glands. It's produced in their mouth. And then they also regurgitate mucus from their stomach. So you've got these silk threads with little mucus drops. For a passing insect, this is a hanging forest of sticky death traps. You can see that it's made up of many, many lines of silk with these tiny mucus droplets on it. The flying insect, because it's got appendages like wings and legs, it's, they're all going to get stuck up. And it, so the more it moves, the more stuck it gets, basically, until they struggle for a while and then they often stop moving. The glowworm will often retreat a little bit when something hits its web and then it starts to glow very brightly because the vibration actually excites the glowworm and it glows more brightly. And then it moves towards the part of the web where the insect is hanging. It is a slow, torturous demise. <laughs> 